what's up friends welcome back to the channel this is Austin back again with another simple tutorial so in this simple tutorial we are going to be creating a simple progress bar using JavaScript and CSS so CSS is going to be for designing then JavaScript implementing the functionality so it's all about designing and implementing some little bit of functionality it's not like we are going to be creating a full application that's how you can create a simple progress bar on your web page on your sample project so what you're going to do just go and create a folder like I did here I created a folder called progress bar and inside those folder that folder sorry I have a file called index.html progress.js and style.css so those are the three files that I'm going to be working with let me create a layout of three columns so the first is going to be having index.html the second sorry the second is going to be having style.css and the third is going to be having progress.js so we are going to start with the index.html file i'm just going to write html and place tab I'm using sublime text it has that autocomplete feature so I'm just going to put progress bar progress bar in the title section and I'm just going to right click open in browser so sublime has this feature if not just go to the folder you created and double click on that index.html that's how simple it is so we have our, our file opened up in the browser you can see then what you're going to do now we are going to create some simple divisions the div tags so the first one is going to have the class of container so I want my elements to be somehow centered and you're going to see how we are going to do that very soon then I'm going to have another division with the ID sorry ID of progress and it's going to be having a child div inside it and it's going to be having the ID of inner bar so the inner bar that is going to be moving so that's how simple it is as you can see we have the container the parent element for all these inner divs then we also have id which is a parent element to the inner bar sorry <laughs> the progress id it's the parent to this inner div the id of inner bar hope i'm not confusing you guys then outside here we are going to have some simple div still inside the container element and you're going to have another div with the id of status so this is the area where you're going to be seeing 50 percent 50 percent until it reaches 100 percent so this is where you're going to see those digits moving so that's it for the html let me remember properly we have a button that you're going to be clicking let's say button and it's going to be having the id of upload and also i'm going to give the text upload let's refresh this is what we are having somehow on the edges as i told you the importance of this container that you're seeing here is going to try to center everything so that's the html part let's go to the sorry to the css part and for css to impact on this page we need to link it by using the link tag so this is the link tag and it takes in the rel attributes the relationship so what's the relationship of this file with this page so it's a style sheet and you can also specify the type attribute what is it it is a text file and css it's having the css file 
then we specify the hyper reference so which like which file do you want to link to this page and it's the style.css so write the name of the file there style.css that's the file that we want to link to the page so when, whatever we write here is going to impact this page so we start with the container div and I'm just going to write margin zero auto and we are going to set some simple width of 70% and with only that we are going to have something that is centered you will see very soon when we put the progress bar there so let us target this div with the ID of progress we start with the pound symbol hash symbol and we put the value with the name of that ID which is progress then we are going to set its width to a hundred percent and the background color the background color sorry I want gray let us refresh oh it's not going to appear until we put some height on this inner div that you're seeing here so let us get the styling for this inner bar and we are going to set its width let's say two percent then we set the height to like 40 percent sorry 40 pixels then you can see it now then let's set its background color oh. to dark red let's refresh and that's the inner bar let us put some break tag between the button and the progress bar. Let us let us start from here. So I want two break tags between the status and the upload button. So when we want to add some functionality, when we click this upload button for this inner bar to move up to this side until it clocks or it clicks 100 percent so with that let me change this color to something like bdd lighter gray i think that's better so that's the css that we need right now nothing else let us jump to javascript now for also javascript to impact this page we need to link it and to do that we just write the script tag i like placing mine at the bottom right before the closing body tag and we put the source attribute so where the file is located remember they in the same folder and we want to link progress.js so progress js sorry so whatever i write here has to impact that page let us refresh so you see this array one so that means we have successfully linked this file to this page the first thing we are going to do is create an event listener on this button so when it's clicked what you're going to do here, you're going to say document dot add event listener. So I'm first going to add an event listener on the DOM. So we want this to run when the DOM has fully loaded. So add event listener. And the event you're going to load is called DOM content 
loaded you will forgive me for the noise in the background i hope let me close these files since we finished to create them let me remain with two columns for the javascript and the page and sorry and the main guys you forgive me for the guys in the background shouting so we are listening to the document first then let's also grab on this button when the user clicks it so we are going to say document dot get element by id and the id we want is upload and this is the function that we want to run and it's going to be called let's say move bar so you can name it anything you want and we're going to create a function here called move bar very very simple so inside this function let us create a variable called this now we are targeting this the inside div the inner div and i'm just going to call it again inner div inner bar sorry and we are going to say document but get element by id and we want to target this id inner bar very very simple you can see how simple it is then let us also target this id of status i'm going to call it again status to be obvious so document dot get element by id and it's going to be having status then with that let us create another variable i'm going to call it with it let's say it's going to be one initially then let us create another variable called id i'm going to explain all this then we set it to set interval so the steps is going to take while running and we are going to run a function called time frame so we are also going to create this and these are the steps that we want it to take let's say 20. You're going to see all this very soon. So let us first also create this function called time frame. So function time frame. So what we are doing here, we want to check if the width is a hundred percent. So when this thing runs up to here, we want it to be a hundred percent. And to do that, we are going to put an if condition here. And we say width. Remember, we initially created a width of 1. And we are going to say if it's great or equal to 100. You get it? If it's great or equal to 100, then what we want to do, we want to stop. So we use the clear interval method. Clear interval. And the interval that we want to clear is this. Remember this I variable we created of id. It's the one that we want to clear. We don't want it to again run more 20 steps ahead. So we want to terminate it from there. Very, very simple. Else, if it's not yet 100%, what we're going to do is to keep on adding on this width that we created here. So we are going to say width plus plus so we are going to go on adding whatever frame that we are having here remember we first we clear it when it's greater than this then we also want to move the inner div so we want to move this dark red inner bar up to this side and to do that we are going to do inner bar this variable that we created here and we say dot style dot width 
So remember the we infiltrated a variable here and now we shall concatenate it with some string of percentage like that. Then also we target this status ID. Remember we created a variable here called status. And we are going to do status dot inner HTML for it we want it to display something on the screen. Inner HTML and we want it to display the width. So let us concatenate it with this string of percentage sign. And let us save this and try it in the browser. So when the user clicks this, let me see. Inspect. Unexpected token on line 8. Line 8, where is line 8? Oh, remember this, it's supposed to be an assignment sign, not column. So equal sign, assignment. So let us refresh and click this. Where is it? And they are not logging out an error. Let me see. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to add an event listener on this. I just got the ID. So we are going to say document get element by ID of this. Sorry. Then we say dot. So I'm very sorry for this. Add event listener. And the event that we want to add is a click. When the user clicks it, and when they click it, you want to run this function called move bar. That's a silly mistake that I made. You can see we are targeting this the ID of upload and we add an event listen of click and run this function move bar. Let us refresh, click this, and we are having that very very simple refresh so that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like the video share it on different social medias and i always see you in the next tutorials so guys let me hope i never confused you around here about this and this so for the set interval, remember, I told you these are the steps that are going to be running. If I turn this to 10, see how the progress bar moves fast. But when I take this like 30, it's going to be moving like 30 steps slower. You can see. Then when it reaches this 100%, it does not continue they clear whatever was set in the interval so this is what the clear interval does i'll see in the next tutorials peace